So this this set of examples concerns with the <clears throat> uh, formatted and unformatted uh, input uh, examples. Uh, the get uh, function built into SYN is designed to return a single byte, okay? Um, and uh, that's what uh, that's what the input uh, device is doing. Um, so again, this is uh, this mode, the unformatted input, uh, is uh, specifically for dealing with binary data. Whenever possible, um, we should be uh, preferring a readable plain text format. But if necessary, then um, it's a very primitive version of input, just byte by byte. And what you do with these bytes is up to you. And basically, uh, there are two versions of get. One will give you, like this one, will give you a single character. Uh, and uh, there is another version that will populate an array of bytes with a sequence of bytes. And then, again, it's your choice what you do with these bytes. Whereas formatted input, unlike unformatted, uh, uh, allows you to resolve input immediately during the, the input processing. So, for instance, if we're expecting an integer then uh, and the integer was provided, then the integer will be conveniently uh, populated with the value. Just like uh, uh, output stream sin, uh, character input is predefined object and it comes from this header just like we discussed early so originally attached to the standard input device uh, however redirection is still possible by doing the opposite of the output redirection the input redirection looks like this so let's see uh, can we try to experiment with this let me close our previous version of the program. And so here um, <clears throat> we're producing some output. Uh, I will just uh, erase uh, the set of experiments and reduce it to uh, um, actually right now what I would like to do is um, I just print message that says uh, Getting uh, three integers from standard input. Okay, and I will print this message. And what I would like to do next, uh, declare these three integers in uh, uh, one, two, and three. Okay. And then use uh, standard uh, input device to input them. Basically, copy them over like this. Okay, and uh, just do this in sequence. And then <clears throat> we'll say. values are and we'll just print them one two three I will just uh, separate separate them by uh, space it's a little tedious but many programming tasks are tedious and then we'll display a new line so, of course, if I'm using the keyboard, I would have to type three integers in order to be able to uh, input them by using this program. But let me try to use uh, uh, redirection. And the idea is the, the idea of this redirection will look like this. Basically, use a file to redirect input from, from the file. Okay, and uh, redirect it into our program. 
Uh, so this is this is the plan. Just use this program and uh, input redirection from a file. Now I would like to jump uh, to my file manager window, and this is the file, and this is what it contains. So I will change it to contain three integers: one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. Right. So something recognizable like this. I will save it. Uh, and now using the, uh, first of all, let's build the program. Okay. And uh, so this time uh, using the redirection, uh, hit this and you see that the values are one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. So this time the uh, output, uh, I'm, I mean, the input redirection also works uh, very easily. So you see, in the program, nothing has to change between the keyboard and redirection to and from the file. So if, if I wanted to send all of this output into a file, uh, then uh, what I can do is that I can use uh, 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 redirect, uh, redirection for output as well like this, right? So I can use redirection with input uh, and redirection um, with output, I'll say my output uh, dot text, right? For 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 example, so if I do this, you see the program no longer displays anything. It gets input from one file and sends output to another file. So if I again switch back to my file manager, this is my output dot text, and you see that this entire output from the program with the values that being input from another file were printed right here in inside this file. So um, this is, uh, uh, you can recognize that for um, batch processing of big amount of data, uh, data uh, this uh, functionality can be extremely helpful uh, that you can essentially use plain text files uh, to create inputs and create outputs and different programs can use different files for inputs and outputs and this is a, a very strong platform so anyway so this is the redirection of the input that we try to demonstrate here so uh, sometimes character input uh, by default it represents the keyboard but um, uh, in general we also uh, can use it uh, can use the same program to get uh, input from the standard uh, from the standard uh, device that was attached to the program as a standard device and you can see it can be a file uh, if you're thinking about the web web server uh, the web server gets uh, http uh, uh, requests uh, uh, with the character uh, character input and generates HTTP responses with uh, character output. Uh, the typically the program uh, which is invoked by the web server is unaware of the actual network connection. The actual network connection is attached to character output and character input, and that's uh, uh, how a lot of uh, internet uh, web servers work. They just use uh, uh, this and this to communicate with the world right so this uh, right here would generate uh, websites uh, and this will be getting uh, http requests from web browsers when the connection is established between the server and the and the uh, browser client right so this is a very powerful platform um, and redirection makes it even more powerful <clears throat> so but uh, back to the topic that um, an important thing is that the part of the formatted input is that uh, specific data types are recognized. So there is no need or any effort on our part uh, to make sure that uh, we process inputs uh, with recognizable data types. For instance, if we're expecting two integers uh, in the input, all we have to do is just declare the two integers and attempt to input them. And notice that, of course, uh, in the ideal world, this will work, but um, uh, many errors uh, could be happening. And uh, another issue is to watch out for input uh, problems that we're getting uh, because uh, the inputs could be related to different uh, 
uh, different uh, situations, including bad input formats or uh, device uh, problems and other cir circumstances. So uh, input uh, in one line like this looks very attractive, but at the same time, it's very important to keep an eye on the state of the object uh, of this character input object and make sure that it's still in the right state. So that's uh, another big chapter of, of the discussion that we have to cover uh, with respect to input output states. <clears throat> there is another aspect of formatted input is working with the strings. So let's do a, a little bit of demonstration regarding the string as well. So officially, if we use strings uh, in our code, right, and if we say um, for instance, if we change this to a string, a uh, standard uh, string, and we paste strings one, two, and three, uh, and this time I will not be redirecting, I'll just run this uh, the string values are and I will decorate them with square brackets just to see how they look like right <clears throat> one two and three okay and uh, I will try to run this and in fact uh, I will do this in a loop um, how about uh, I say getting three strings? Uh, strings from from standard input, and I'll just do this on a loop. It's an endless loop like this. <clears throat> All of this I'll just do in a loop. Just to test the things and see how things look like. I run this. We'll now just change the properties of the screen to use a larger uh, larger fonts, possibly like this. Okay, better. Getting three strings from the input, uh, oh, A, B, and C. And of course, this is what gets input. If I try to hit enter, uh, you can act, cannot actually see my cursor on the screen. But nevertheless, I'm just hitting the enter key. Uh, the enter key has no effect because this type of standard, out, uh, standard input for strings ignores all, all white space, um, skips all white space, and that includes uh, uh, empty, uh, empty strings, which contain no characters, but only possibly uh, enter key, which is the decimal value 13. Um, actually, it gets converted to decimal value 10 when we get the input. Uh, so anyway, uh, no empty strings are possible. Uh, we just have to type something to be able to uh, uh, satisfy this type of uh, uh, input right here. And only when we provide something, it gets printed. So I just close this window now. And uh, just a reminder that uh, uh, if I just want to input uh, plain strings from standard input, uh, I need to switch from this type of input to get line. Uh, get line and the format changes to std sin uh, string and this time I just need one string okay if I if I use this version uh, getting uh, getting um, I'll say line of text from standard input so this is uh, I'll say text line, right, text line. And this time, if I enter these text lines, the, mm, I just print uh, 
do enter and just print this uh, uh, one string that I have and I change its name to text line. Okay, and I will do this in the loop. So my demonstration is that when I run it, the important thing to recognize is that the, if I hit enter this time, get line is happy to accept an empty line. It's okay. The, the, the input can be empty. And if I type something right here, uh, and or if I type something with spaces, uh, then it's fine. You see that uh, empty lines are okay, uh, non-empty lines are okay, and lines with spaces are also okay. So uh, consider this part of the standard input um, with uh, uh, with the formatted together that comes together with formatted input. Okay, so formatted input simply is using uh, this for input, this for output, and also for extension for strings because the strings may contain spaces that are in other cases used as delimiters between separate values. So we have the get line option. Okay. All right, so this is useful and just something to be aware of. Uh, what else we have here? <clears throat> so this is uh, an example showing a mixture of quantity and units. And uh, we say quantity and units, and we enter quantity and units. And of course, uh, this just echoes back, uh, pro uh, providing example of formatted uh, input of strings and integer in one place. Uh, get line was just discussed. I just wanted to... Uh, cover this quickly and uh, uh, we've used this before uh, and then um, uh, here's an example that we already used and I will probably not spend uh, too much time on this but if we want to be able to uh, make uh, our structures friendly with uh, um, character output character input and other streams we need to overload the corresponding operators and knowing the type of the operator is this or specific other type of operator, this is just sort of like a copy and paste version of something that we can do. And uh, remember that uh, in order to be able to support this type of output between dates and character output, uh, where date is a structure that we define ourselves, for example, all we need to do is uh, define this operator that takes uh, a reference to the output stream on one side and uh, constant reference to our object on the other side of things and we can overload this operator this is example from the book so uh, it's covered in the book i'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time on this because we uh, have uh, we have done this before in our other presentations and our other uh, samples that we were running now, it's interesting that with the opposite side of things, so if we want to provide, if we have a data structure which contains three integers, and of course, part of the input is that we want to be able to accept three integers together, uh, right? So we want to be able to, uh, essentially what we'd like to do is that we would like to be able to uh, write the code like this, uh, essentially, connecting our dates with the uh, character input by using a simple input uh, operator. So of course, for this, we need to overload the operator which supports the input. Uh, and once again, the input stream is the device that we need to take by reference. And then we also need to take this data structure also by reference to be able to populate it with uh, specific values. So I use, uh, I create uh, the date uh, as a variable right here. And then the next thing is that when I do this, this function is invoked. It's an overloaded operator. And so uh, it does surprisingly uh, 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 quite a few different things. 